So what is going on everyone, Minibus with you here, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install any Microsoft app if you don't have the Microsoft Store and let us begin. So firstly, we are going to go to this website. I'm going to be putting all the links in the description. So you have to first make sure that your Windows is actually activated because sometimes it might actually refer to something is not working for some reason of your windows or you might be denied access to not actually accessing what i'm going to be showing you okay so next you are going to have to just come here to collections and you are going to go to the files and then scroll down go to the script installation files Okay, so you are going to still go ahead and scroll down to the Winget. Okay, so this is what we need for now. So next you are going to have to go to your start menu and then type in the word partial. I already have it here, but you can go ahead and type in partial. Okay, partial. Okay, go ahead, right click on it and then run it as administrator in my case i actually need to log in with a password okay okay so we are going to just do a side by side installation it's just going to be a copy and paste installation exercise okay so what we're going to do here let me just minimize this to use something a bit smaller sorry okay there we go okay so okay so before you do this you actually have to okay let's first just go here and just copy this right click copy then come into your partial right click to pass this and then press enter you are going to have to wait for it to do its installation. Okay, there we go. It is successful. And then you are going to come back here and then right click and then copy, then come back in here and then right click to paste and press enter. Okay, it's uh, just installed some packages. There we go. So next you are going to have to go down here, then right click, just copy and test press enter okay there we go so i've already installed this i have no aware of how i just have to uninstall it but this just is it's just going to be as smooth as you see it but in your case it won't show you that already installed so next we are going to have to visit these websites here right click i'm trying to make it as simple as possible go ahead open that link and then go ahead or highlight this, right click. Oh my God, what is happening? I need to, there we go, gems. Okay, right click and then go ahead, go to that. Okay, so we have two links that are being opened. I'm going to just explain to you a little bit what we're doing. Okay, this is here. I'm sorry about the lag. I'm actually using my Windows server somewhere. If you also want to get Windows or Windows servers or any server or Linux server, I'm going to be putting the link in the description that are very cheap uh, options. Okay, so you are going to okay so this is a site that's microsoft is it's like the online microsoft store but you actually cannot install anything unless you have to open in with the app uh, the store the store app okay but this other website here what it does is it generates temporary links for this website that we that that already has the software and let us begin okay so let's go back here okay uh for example if you scroll down here and maybe which app can we install okay so we have so many 
apps here. Uh, let me go for something. Uh, let me go for Windows Scan. Okay, you just click on the software or you can just go ahead and search whatever software that you want for the TikTok or any software that you want to install. Okay, let me, I, I just want to try with this. Oh, okay, so you can go ahead and copy the whole of this link, but I usually want to just go ahead and copy what is in here. Okay, let me just go ahead and just do it as it happens to appear here. Okay, just right click copy and then we are going to have to go into this uh, web generator or link generator website go ahead select and right click and then paste Okay, so you're going to have to paste in your link here and then you're going to have to go ahead and press enter it's going to generate some links that are going to be temporary. So you have to do this as fast as you can. Okay. Okay. So this has little packages. Okay. So the one thing you're going to have to first notice here is we have packages that are ARM, ARM 64 bit or 86 bit. Okay. So how you're going to solve this is you're going to have to go to your start menu and then type in settings go to settings okay and you are going to go to system and then scroll down and then go to the about section and then finally you're going to get the system type here your system type what actually you're looking for is the 64 bit because your computer is a 64 bit but make sure that your computer is already active like literally activated if you want to buy activation keys you can actually go ahead and use this website as i showed you earlier okay you are going to just go ahead and use this website and if you also want to get servers you can have to just click on this advertisement to get a very cheap server but let's go ahead and continue okay there we go okay so that is how you check your you need a 64 bit and when you come back here in the links, you're going to have to realize that you have 64 bit also. So you don't need this 86 and ARM. We're only going to use those packages. Okay. So my system is a 64 bit and let us continue. Okay. So we are going to come in here. So this is the app actually here. The wherever you see neutral is actually the app, but we're going to be installing the app X bundle. You are going to have to just ignore the block map. Okay, so firstly, let's go ahead and install these dependencies before we go to the actual to the actual software. Okay, go ahead, choose the 64 bit that is up X right click. Uh, okay, so firstly, come in here to your WinGet and then copy this link here. Copy this link, and then come into PowerShell right click okay so we are going to have to delete this part here of the links the link okay and we are going to have to come in here then copy this up x bundle right click copy copy link okay come in here and right click Okay, and the other thing you're going to have to change the name of this. Okay, let's go ahead and change the name. Okay, and this is to say this is uh, what is it? VC VCL VCL. We just write in small letters. Okay, this is gonna be V C L Libs. Uh let's say scan. Let's associate it with the name of something that we're installing. Go ahead and press enter. Okay, so it's doing its magic as it's installing. Okay, it shows that it has installed it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to go back to... Okay, let me force minimize this. 
Okay, back to what we were doing earlier. Okay, there we go. Okay, come back in here. Nah, nah. Come back here in your Winget, scroll down, and we are going to actually add the package to our system, copy. Okay, this is actually just a dependency. Okay, you're gonna have to just change this name, delete all this with the commas, and type in the name that you put here. Okay, this is gonna be VCL, VCL EBS, and scan. Okay, so just go ahead and press enter. And it's going to do its installation and it is successful. Okay, the next thing we are going to have to actually go back and install the last one here. Oh, it looks so funny now. Okay, so the the only dependence needed is actually installed. But now finally we're going to be installing the app X bundle here. I told you to just ignore the blob map. Okay, just go ahead and we actually need to get Let, let's first do this come in here and we are going to have to first copy this again right click copy and then you are going to come back to your PowerShell okay you are going to actually right click okay and we are going to come back here and delete the link option okay so finally you come in to this website and right click copy then go back to your PowerShell okay the next thing you are going to actually name your up here delete all this Okay, this is going to be called win. Let's call it winscan. Let's call it winscan and we press enter. There we go. So you can see whatever it's doing here. So it's doing a download. Actually, right now is like downloading and eventually uh, the the command that you see here actually is like doing the installation. So this is going to be like downloading. This is going to be like installing the package or the software. Okay, there we go. It's finished downloading. And now we're going to have to install the app copy. And then, yes, okay, copy. Come back to PowerShell and then paste. Okay, so we're going to have to change this name here. Change this name to what you have written here. So you can name it whatever you want because already in the package that you've downloaded already in the software, they already it already knows exactly what was written inside of it. So let's type in win. Yeah, winscon. Okay, go ahead and press enter. You're going to see it doing its, its installation here. And there we go. So if you go ahead and open the start button, you're going to see that we have the scan. If you rewind the video, you're going to realize when you press the start button to go into the settings, it did not have these options. So you can go ahead and open the software that did not actually come. You're going to realize I'm using a Windows Server, which actually comes bare and it does not have the Microsoft Store. Uh, let me say Store. Okay, so you're going to realize it does not have actually the Microsoft Store, but if I show you in my Windows and type in the word Store, you can see that I have the Microsoft Store, but in my server, it, it does not actually exist. So if I need to install any software, I'm going to be following. Okay, so you can go ahead, okay, to get started, connect a scanner. So you can connect your scanner and do whatever you want, just use your software the way you want to use it okay okay so that is how you install any app in your windows if you do not have the microsoft store app so if you found this video interesting if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions you can drop them in the comment section down below 
I will appreciate so much if you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you need any help in installing any of these softwares, you're going to have to just contact me via my email and I see whether I can give you a hand and help you. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.